Hi, I'm Vladimir Nikitin, and I'm from Russia. Hi, I'm Jordan Takrai, and I'm from Papua New Guinea. Hi, my name is Pietrus Jakobus van den Berg. I'm from South Africa. Hi, I'm Patrice Jean Scheldella, and I'm from France. Hi, I'm Bradley Ashby, and I'm from New Zealand. Hi, I'm Fabian Chauvin, I'm from Sensen, and I'm from Sweden. Hi, I'm Max, I'm from Hong Kong. Today, Australia is one of the most multicultural countries in the world, with one in every four Australians being born overseas and nearly 50% of the population having at least one parent that wasn't born in Australia. Gustav de Salle was born at a time when the world faced severe economic hardship. The major imperial powers had begun to rearm, and in particular, Germany was remilitarizing. This action violated the 1919 Versailles Treaty. It became clear that conflict was inevitable. Furthermore, for minority groups as such as the Jewish people, the introduction of the Nuremberg Laws in 1935 meant persecution. The political situation was grave and resulted in many families looking to escape. The Nassau family were one family that recognised the unfolding conflict. They left their hometown of Vienna for Australia in 1939. This was soon after the annexation of Austria by Nazi Germany. Neighbouring Germany started to pursue aggressive policies to develop their empire and regain power. One of the policies that were fervently followed was that of anti-Semitism. Gustav Nassau's grandparents were Jewish, and although he was baptised a Roman Catholic, he was still considered Jewish by a Nazi German edit. He was therefore at risk of being sent to a concentration camp. Being of Jewish heritage was something that was clearly recorded in Hitler's political writings. Mein Kampf and it meant that if either of your four grandparents were Jewish, then you were also considered Jewish. In 1935, Nuremberg laws were introduced. These laws excluded the Jews from German life, as well as took away some of their natural rights. They were first declared at the annual Nazi rally held in Nuremberg in 1935. It was hard for my family when we first arrived in Australia. My father was at risk of being prosecuted by the Nazis, even though he wasn't even Jewish. But when we arrived in Australia, many people thought that we were German, and therefore enemies of Australia. After World War II, it was a little easier as the Australia was desperate to populate the country. They started a campaign to bring in more Europeans to help the economy grow and protect the country from a fear of communism in Asia. They even went to the extent of advertising for displaced people across Europe to migrate. The Minister of Migration, Arthur Corwell, explained to the people that there was only two options for Australia. That was to populate or perish. The Nassau family was part of the population strategy and they were proud of it. Like many other migrants who chose to make the journey to Australia, life was not always easy. Some Australians were afraid that migrants would take their jobs and would be unable to accept the Australian way of life. This meant that they were sometimes racist towards new Australians, or attempted to exclude them from everyday life. Nassau won the Australian of the Year Award in 2000 for his scientific and medical contributions. Nassau was president of the Australian Academy of Science from 1994 to 1998. He was also a long-term advisor to the World Health Organization and chairman of the Strategic Advisory Council for the Bill and Melinda Gates Children's Vaccine Program. He was Deputy Chairman of the Council for Aboriginal Reconciliation from 1997 to 2000. Today, Gustav Nassau is a successful migrant who has contributed enormously to Australian society. Thanks to Nassau and many other migrants, Australia's cultural heritage has developed strongly, building an inclusive and cosmopolitan society. <laughs>